In 2005, after receiving an invitation from the warden, leaders from Awana visited the famed Louisiana State Penitentiary at Angola. For years, known as the bloodiest prison in the U.S., under current leadership, it's transformed to a place of spiritual growth and changed lives. In a single meeting, Christian inmates presented a challenge, a plea for help to our leadership to help them, the incarcerated men, reach their children with the gospel of Christ and a dream of hope. From that day, we didn't really know what the need was. But the deeper we went in our own learning, the more we realized how great the gap was between where fathering was and where it needed to be. For the sake of 2.2 million children growing up in the U.S. with a dad in prison, we had to do something. That call for help set off a series of events that today has become the ministry of Awana Lifeline. What does life look like for these 2 million plus kids in the U.S. with a parent in prison? Most of them average just eight years old, and they're the ones who have a higher risk of behavioral disorders, becoming high school dropouts, becoming homeless or runaway youths, or sadly, committing youth suicide. And unfortunately, this cycle of crime tends to continue as these children have a seven times greater likelihood to end up in prison themselves. For Dalton, that was exactly the situation. He met his father in prison, not for a visit day, but as an inmate. He has determined that that cycle will stop with the next generation. And it is programs like Malachi Dads and the Returning Heart Celebration that create environments of reconciliation and structures of responsibility. Where kids can come into prison and meet their dads for the right reasons. To be loved on, invested in, cared for, and taught about the love of Jesus Christ. God has been using Awana Lifeline over the last five years, and we've seen him take this ministry to another dozen states, to thousands of men both in prison and out of prison. Yet we believe he is just now beginning to open the doors of opportunity for this ministry, to build a legacy of faith in Christ through the church and within the community. We believe God is calling us to an even greater challenge in the years to come. By 2016, our plan is to grow to another thousand churches in the U.S., impacting some of the greatest at-risk areas in this country, and then spreading to the world. Our intent is that the next few years will see more than 30,000 men changed with the vision of having a heart for their children, and in turn, their representative 90,000 kids having a heart for their father and the father. Children being changed in a way that statistics say will never happen. But our God is a big God, and we believe this change can happen. Through your investment, you can help impact these lives. We believe in the power of Christ. We believe that generations can be redeemed, and we believe that life doesn't have to look so bleak for the children of the future. In fact, we believe it shouldn't. It is our firm conviction that because of the power of Jesus Christ and the commitment of his people, that life's story can look completely different. Through Christ, a broken life can be restored to life abundant. What are we doing to address the needs of these kids of the future? We're going right to the heart of the matter, the heart of the fathers.